Hey guys, I'm back with another haul and it's Sunday afternoon. I just got a couple of packages in randomly. I wasn't really expecting them to come on a Sunday, but the first one I got is from Beauty Pie and I had ordered a couple of things. I just can't get enough of Beauty Pie, honestly. Uh, most of my skincare that I'm using now is actually from them and I've been really getting into their makeup as well. So um, I got two makeup items and then two skincare. One is actually a hand cream. This is their Super Retinol anti-aging hand cream and I do have their super retinol serum and also the eye cream and really really like those so this one is supposed to have encapsulated retinol to reduce the visible signs of aging, wrinkles, and uneven skin tone. Also, it has pseudo collagen, which makes skin smoother, softer, and plumper due to its excellent moisture binding capacity and smoothing effect on the skin surface. Bio sugar moisture magnets, which delivers long term moisturization, hydration, and a remarkably silky feel. And then shea butter. So, I'll show you guys quickly the full ingredient list. And this one is made in Switzerland. So let's open it up and take a quick look. I did just put hand cream on before the video, but I'll put a little bit more. Here's a look at the tube. Okay, so this feels, I would say like a medium weight hand cream. It's not something super, super thick, but it's not lightweight either. So I think this will be good for daytime. There's some hand creams that I can only wear at night because they're just so thick and greasy and I feel like I just couldn't wear them during the day or I would be uncomfortable, especially like touching doorknobs or basically touching anything. I don't want to leave greasy fingerprints around. So um, usually I try to look for hand creams during the daytime to be a little bit lighter weight. And this one, I mean, definitely sank right in. Um, but at the same time, it feels super hydrating. I'm kind of curious though, I think with like the retinol aspect of it, I know retinol can make your skin more sun sensitive, so I would definitely need to be sure to wear SPF, especially heading into the summer months. So I may just want to reserve this for the nighttime. Honestly, in the summertime, I don't wear hand cream as much as I do in the winter, so it's not something that I'm going to have to be putting on constantly, but just a thought. And then I also got the Superdose Vitamin C, and this is a rapid action power brightener with 15% vitamin C and tranexamic acid. So here's a quick look at the ingredients. It has water and then sodium ascorbyl phosphate. So that's the type of vitamin C. It also contains tranexamic acid here, citric acid and ferulic acid. And it says that the vitamin C at 15% helps to dramatically fight the signs of aging and dark spots and pigmentation. The tranexamic acid also helps to reduce the appearance of sun-induced pigmentation, sunburn, and melanoderma while calming and helping to smooth skin. And then ferulic acid neutralizes free radicals and works synergistically to boost the power of other antioxidants and can also help inhibit the appearance of age spots. So let's take a quick look. So this comes in a dropper style bottle. I'm just gonna put a little drop right here. And this doesn't seem to have any scent to it, which is nice. And it's a really lightweight, almost oil feel, um, kind of like an oil serum, I guess. It feels really nice. And it's just, again, sinking right in makes my skin feel very, very soft overall. So anyway, moving on to the makeup. I got the One Powder Wonder Perfecting Powder. I heard a lot of amazing things about this. It's supposed to be like a blurring finishing powder. And the thing that's supposed to be good about this one is that it's not supposed to look like a powder at all. And some of the reviews that I read said that basically it's hard to pick up on the brush, that it feels like it's just really packed into the pan and that they felt like they weren't getting anything up on their brush but I find that powders like that are usually amazing because they don't kick up all this powder and they don't leave a powdery residue on your skin so I'm so curious about this one it looks very white in the pan but I'm just gonna sweep my finger over it yeah I mean I'm definitely picking up something but not a ton it feels almost like a piece of plastic or something like it doesn't feel like powdery in any way but I'm definitely blurring these words here, so I know I'm picking up something. And you can see a little bit of it on my finger. So I'm just gonna put it here. Yeah, I mean, it literally looks like nothing. 
but yet you can see how, I mean, at least I can see, I don't know if you guys can on camera, but you can see how it just mattified my skin ever so slightly. Over here, it still looks really shiny. I'll put a little bit more. And it feels super, super silky as well. So yeah, you can see the difference. Over here, I still have that glow from where I put the serum and the hand cream. And then over here, it just looks back to like a natural skin-like finish, like just a satin finish. And it doesn't feel sticky over here at all. It just feels super smooth. While over here, it still feels like a little bit tacky. So I think this is gonna be awesome. And then the other thing I got was the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. So this is actually supposed to be, I think, a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. They also have a contour wand in this same packaging, and they look exactly like the Charlotte Tilbury ones with the little sponge tip applicator. So um, this just comes in one color, I believe. And you just have to twist this to get the product to come up. And then I'm just gonna put, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand right here, and we'll see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that highlight is. It's not glittery at all, like it's just so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more. That is the most stunning highlight. Sometimes cream highlights are more on the subtle side, but this is giving you a ton of glow without the glitter. So if you're not a glitter person and you just want a really smooth highlight, this seems really effortless. I mean, I just put a little bit and blended it and look at the effect that it gives. I love that. So anyway, guys, that is my beauty pie haul. I also got my Sephora order in the mail today and I wanted to try this new KVD good apple skin perfecting foundation balm after it kind of went viral i went on the sephora website and it was so hard to even get a shade most of them were sold out i think all of them are sold out now and i ended up with light number 006 which looked like it might be a little bit too light for me but i figured i would at least be able to test the formula and see what it's like i also got two of the new melt cream blush lights which i was really excited about and Laneige has a new lip treatment balm that's actually supposed to be for daytime. And um, I think it has kind of like a pearly effect. So it gives a little bit of, not color really, but it just makes your lips look really pretty during the daytime. So anyway, let's open these up and take a quick look. So this foundation is supposed to be, let's see, it says infused with apple extract to help nourish the skin. And that's basically all it says on the back. So anyway, I have seen very mixed reviews on this. Some people saying it's absolutely amazing. I've seen other people saying that I did see a video on TikTok of a girl who was saying that like everybody's using a beauty filter with this and when you turn the filter off that it looks horrible um, and I think cream foundations especially ones like this in a jar they can be a little bit tricky because if you swirl your brush in too much or if you pick up too much product it can look really cakey so my method usually with foundations like this is to just warm it up in my fingers a little bit and put the smallest amount possible on your skin and I think that really helps to prevent it from looking cakey so let's go ahead and just pick up a little bit of this on my finger yeah I think this is gonna be really light for me but um, let's take a look yeah cuz creams like this usually have a little bit more of a dry finish to them and sometimes they can kind of sit on top of your skin rather than going into your skin. And that's what happens, especially if you pick up too much. So if you just get a little bit and you really warm it into your fingers, it can go into your skin a little bit better. So anyway, yeah, I'm noticing that it does look very dry right here where I put it. So who knows, even just adding a little bit of this may end up not looking so great on my face. It just could be the formula itself. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and just put it over here on this side. This is super, super light. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, it does not look very pretty, to be honest with you. Um, if you'd like to see me do like a full face demo of this foundation, let me know. I'm already thinking, based on just putting it on my hand, I may be taking this back to the store, but we will see. All right, so anyway, let's check out these melt blushes. I got two shades, Honey Thief and Golden Hour. So one is... Um, one of the shimmery ones and the other one is a matte. I don't want to say matte exactly, but you know what I mean? It doesn't have shimmer in it. 
So anyway, let's check out these Melt Cream blush lights. I got two different shades, Golden Hour and Honey Thief. So one has the shimmer and one doesn't. So let's take a quick look. Here's the packaging. And this is the shade Honey Thief, and this is the one that doesn't have the shimmer. So let's just take a little bit, and we'll put it right here. These have a really nice feel to them. They remind me a little, again, of those Milani cream blushes that came out recently. They're really smooth, and they don't feel sticky and tacky. They seem like they're going to dry down pretty well. Golden Hour is one with the shimmer. But I mean, just looking at it in the pan, it doesn't look overly shimmery. So that's a good thing. But we'll see what happens once we get down into it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems to have a sheen now. So, oh yeah. <laughs> this one's a little bit lighter um, of a peach. So Honey Thief is more of like a deeper pinky peach. And then this one is just more peachy overall. And, you know, it looks a little bit like a highlight, but not in the sense that it's glittery. It's definitely not glittery at all. It just has a beautiful sheen to it. So I'm really excited to put these on my cheeks. I'm just going to blend these out a little and see what they would look like if I were just to blend them. So this, I think, blended out would give like the prettiest dewy glow to your cheeks, but at the same time, they dry to a powdery finish. So seeing that dewy glow doesn't mean that it's going to feel sticky or anything like that, or your hair is going to get stuck in it. It really, it's completely dried down. So I love that. So let me just blend out this one. Yeah, so it blends out very, very sheer. So I think, you know, you could probably build up the color. Let me try. Yeah, I mean, you can build it up really easily. Just putting another coat um, really makes it pop a little bit more. So anyway, I'm excited about these. I mean, they're very similar to the Milani, but at the same time, Milani also doesn't have these ones with the sheen, so that's a good thing. So anyway, let's move on to the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. So this says Hydrate Smooth Boost Visible Fullness. And it says this pearlescent lip treatment instantly cools while it hydrates, smooths, and boosts the look of lip fullness. So that was one of the things that sold me on it. I do like their night treatment, but I haven't been using it as much because I really enjoy the Milani one a little bit more. But I thought that this sounded great, not only that it has a pearlescent finish, but also that it can help boost lip fullness as well. So how do you open this? Let's see. It has this little dot here, and it looks like it opens... I don't know, maybe you just unscrew it. Yeah, I guess this little thing doesn't do anything. All right, so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit on my finger. Not that you'll be able to see too much, but yeah, it just has like that pearlescent effect. And it definitely has a fruity scent. It kind of smells like maybe like a melon scent. It's definitely not bad at all. So anyway, guys, that's everything that I got from Sephora. Let me know if you want to see any more reviews on any of this. Okay, guys, I'm back. I feel really stupid right now. I just figured out that this is the applicator to apply the lip balm with. It's just like a little silicone applicator. So that is what that thing was. It was supposed to pull and not push. So, so I was just on the Sephora website, happened to see it, and I was like, duh, I am such an idiot. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hey guys, it's Monday. I just got this really big box in from a new hair care brand at Dollar General, and they're called Root to End. So it says, honestly priced, honestly good, clean hair formulas, nourish and replenish hair from root to end, always $5. So this is actually made by um, the parent company Mesa, which also makes Believe Beauty, which is at Dollar General, and Flower Beauty. So they make some really great stuff. Also, they make the Heritage line um, that I've been using that I've mentioned in a couple videos. So I know this hair stuff's going to be good because I love Heritage already. So let me just quickly show you what they sent over. Oh, and by the way, it says here that um, every product has their proprietary strand reviving complex enriched with 11 amino acids to lock in moisture and leave hair feeling smooth and replenished. And also they are um, vegan and cruelty free. So basically they sent over 
this extra hold hairspray and it says set any style to keep hold without stiffness or flaking they also have a scalp scrub treatment which sounds really good as well this exfoliating pre-shampoo treatment helps deeply clean while giving your scalp a refreshing coolness um, they sent over their replenishing shampoo and conditioner for dry or damaged hair i think they do have a volumizing one as well and then also they have a blonde shampoo the purple shampoo and even though i'm not blonde anymore i really do still use purple shampoo shampoo every once in a while because my hair has a tendency to get brassy and they also have a dry shampoo as well so I'm going to be putting these to the test and I will let you know my thoughts at some point during an update video um, but if you want to check these out they are available now at Dollar General if you have one near you definitely head over and check them out Good morning guys, it's Tuesday. So I just got a bag in the mail from Essence and it looks like it's their brand new Disney Princess Collection. So this is new actually in the United States, but I think it's been around in other countries for a while. I think they released it a couple months ago because I remember seeing some YouTube videos about it. And um, each one comes with a Lash Princess mascara and then a palette. And they looked like they were gonna be super pretty. It says that it's just launching at EssenceMakeup.com, which is their US site and also at Ulta and all products are under $15. Also their sister brand Catrice is having a villains collection as well so I thought that was super fun. So let's go ahead and open up this bag. This is a super nice makeup bag. It has a really velvety feel. So here's a look at the three palettes. We have Snow White, Aurora, and Ariel. And then we also have three Lash Princess formulas. We have, um, which one is this? Snow White is the False Lash Effect. Um, Aurora is the Volume Mascara. And then Ariel is the False Lash Waterproof. So anyway, let's take a close look at the palettes. We'll do some swatches and all that good stuff. So first let's look at Ariel. So it has all of the shades on the back and there is a little warning down here that it contains carmine. So I just wanted to let you guys know that as well in case you are sensitive to that. And let's take a look inside. So this has a lot of neutrals. It's also very warm tone for the most part. You have a couple pops of like pink and coral. Um, you have kind of this brownish burgundy shade up here golds are also the shade sea witch is one of those marbled shades so very excited to swatch this one and then next we have the snow white palette all of these have 14 shades by the way this one also does contain carmine so here's a look at this one this one is very neutral almost neutral to cool so you have a lot of cooler tone shades in here cooler tone brown for the most part it's a very brown palette except for this wicked witch shade which is blue and then dwarves which is a green kind of marbled shade and even this one happy end up here it's brown but it kind of looks like it might have a hint of green to it so this one really isn't too colorful if you're looking for something that has a bit of color to it and then this one is Aurora. This one also contains Carmine as well. And this one I think is the prettiest in terms of just the color story. I love this one so much. So um, this one is more rosy tones, definitely more on the cool tone side. And I love the green in this one as well. It's so beautiful. And this shade again, also True Love. It looks like it might be a duochrome. It's hard to tell. So I just think this one is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and swatch all of these. All right, so before I show you full swatches of all the palettes, I just wanna quickly live swatch a couple of shades just so we can see what the formula is like first. And it looks like there's a couple of different textures in all of these palettes. So you do have these marbled shades and then you also have regular shimmers. This one has some glitter, so it looks like it might be a topper. So I just wanna grab like one of each shade and see how they actually swatch. All right, so this one seems like it's just a regular shimmer shade. A little bit of fallout but otherwise it seems pretty nicely pigmented next let's try one of these special shades down here these look so pretty and it has a really creamy feel to it all right so that one kind of seems more like a topper it's a little bit more on the sheer side but it has a very like wet look to it it's really um, glittery as well it has a lot of micro glitter in it but it's not chunky so that's a good thing then we'll try this one over here. This one, I can see the micro glitter, so let's see what this one swatches like. 
And this one actually feels a little bit like a cream shadow. Like I can kind of move it around and see like I'm making dents in it with my finger. So this might actually be a cream. It has kind of that same feel as the ColourPop Super Shocks. It's really super smooth. I like that one a lot. And then we'll just try this one because it seemed like it had a little bit of like a duochrome effect. I'm not sure if it does, but just looking at it in the pan, it kind of seemed to. Maybe not. Yeah, I think this one is really just like a straight up brown, but it's super, super buttery and creamy. So you definitely have a lot of different textures going on here for the most part, but they all seem to swatch pretty well. All right, and let me just quickly swatch a matte shade. There's not too many mattes in here, honestly. There's one, two, three, four, five out of the whole palette. Oh no, six. So six out of 14 are mattes in this one. Whoa. Okay, so that is definitely some pigment there. That is gorgeous. All right, so now I'm gonna show you swatches of the whole palette. All right, so here is the Ariel palette all swatched out. And I have to say, um, they all swatched really nicely. I didn't feel like any of the shades were dry or patchy or anything. Everything swatched beautifully. But the one thing that I will say about this palette is that it's definitely on the lighter side. There's not really a lot of deep shades. You really only have this brown, and the red and everything else is mid-tone or lighter, which is fine if you have more of a fair to light skin tone like I do, but if you have a deeper skin tone, I just think this is a lot of light shades, and also I think a lot of the shades look the same. Like a lot of these golds in here are very, very similar, so I feel like there's not a ton of variety in this palette. There's not a lot of color. It's really, really basic for the most part, and I think for a lot of people, that'll be perfectly fine. I am definitely more of a neutral lover but I think if you're looking for more color you're probably not going to find that here but I will say some standout shades are definitely this one this is that kind of special marbled shade and look at how gorgeous that is like that is stunning and it's so creamy it might even be a cream shadow I'm not 100% sure this gold also is super stunning and I was really impressed with the red and how it swatched so I do think the quality seems to be there, but I'll have to play with it on my eyes to be sure. All right, so next I'm gonna do swatches of the Snow White palette. I'm assuming that the formula is the same across the board with all of these, so I'm not gonna do live swatches of this, but let's just take a look at all of the shades together. Okay, so here's a look at Snow White. There are only two true matte shades in this palette. The um, matte ivory and then over here you have this mid-tone brown so I think you do definitely have a nice crease shade and then a brow bone highlight if you want something deeper in your outer corner I would probably use like one of these two shades over here because these are more of a satiny finish they're not quite as metallic really this one more than this one um, but you know I think I would probably use either one of those also this blue is a satin it's not a flat matte it's also not super shiny either but it does have that buttery texture texture like a shimmer shade would and then all the rest are just gorgeous shimmers oh my gosh they feel so amazing and this is just one swipe of each one and look at how pigmented they are they're just insane like this taupe I think would make such a beautiful lid shade and this rose gold right here I think you know again if you're a color lover this palette might not be for you but if you're somebody who loves neutrals I just think there's so many beautiful neutrals in here and you can really get some beautiful cool tone looks with some of these shades or you could also go warmer with the coppers and the gold so I just think this is so pretty okay so last but not least let's swatch the Aurora palette I think this one again is definitely my favorite so far okay and then here's Aurora and this one has six matte shades and eight shimmers so I think this one has a really nice balance and I'm loving this green right here it's so beautiful because it's not like a super bright green it's more of a wearable green I guess like if you aren't somebody who loves color or you don't want to wear bright colors 
I think it's just stunning and this taupey shade almost has like a little bit of a green undertone or maybe shift to it it's so beautiful I mean a lot of these shades are gorgeous some of these golds are so metallic and I just think that the matte shades and all of these palettes are swatching so nicely they feel just really pigmented they don't go on patchy so I'm excited to play with these on my eyes I can't wait to test them out and see how the quality is but so far in a swatch they're definitely impressive so I'd love to hear your thoughts on these down below or if you'd like to see more on these on my channel, I can definitely do some looks with each palette. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I just got my Viseart order in the mail and they were having this huge 40% off sale. I think it was last week and I ended up just purchasing some things. I had seen people in my Facebook group talking about it and these are two palettes that I've been wanting for a really long time and 40% off was kind of like, how can I pass this up? I think both of these were in the 20 something dollar range with the sale. So it was a really, really good deal. So I got the Paris edit and I also got the Paris Love Letter palette. So let's go ahead and open these up and we'll do some swatches. Okay, so here's a look at the Paris Edit palette. I love the color. I think it's beautiful. And then here's the inside. Let me just take off the plastic. I remember being very surprised by how small these Viseart palettes were. Um, for some reason, before I owned one, I pictured them being a little bit bigger but um, they do get the job done. You can easily get a brush in there. I think it's just a little tougher like with my finger. So anyway, here's the color story for this one. I love all of these cool tone shadows. I think they're so beautiful. You also do have a couple of warm shades in the middle, so it's a really nice mix. So we'll definitely go ahead and swatch this. And then I wanted to check out the Love Letter palette, which is actually a little bit bigger. And here's the packaging on this one. How pretty, I love it. I love this color, wow. And yeah, these pan sizes are a lot bigger. So yeah, this one is beautiful as well. Again, a very nice mix of warm and cool shades. A lot of them seem kind of similar, especially in the warm family, but then you have this beautiful green and the purple and the gray. I love, love this one. So let me just live swatch a couple of shades for those of you who don't know Viseart's formula, and then I'll show you swatches of everything. So I'm just gonna swatch a couple of the shimmer shades first. <gasps> oh, these are picking up so nicely and they feel so creamy. That purple is to die for. I'm definitely doing a look with this today because I haven't done my makeup yet today. That is just so pretty. So I just want to swatch the gray and then maybe I'll do this one. And there's a little bit of fallout with these, but they are so, so soft. And I love Viseart's mattes. I think they almost like blend themselves. They are so easy to work with. So this is absolutely stunning. Let's go ahead and see what the whole palette looks like. Okay, so here's the Love Letter palette swatched out first. It's beautiful. I mean, it definitely is very neutral, but it has a couple of pops of color. I think it's pretty subtle overall. So if you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of color, but you want to kind of experiment with it a little, I think this is a great palette. It's swatched beautifully. Every single shade was like butter. The matte's very velvety and the shimmer shades just in one swipe. I mean, just look at them. They're beautiful. So let's go ahead and swatch the other one. All right, and then here's the Paris Edit palette, and this one, I think if you like rosy tones, this one is so beautiful. It's definitely different than the Love Letter one. When I was looking at them, you know, in the pan, I was thinking that they had some similarities, but seeing them swatched out, I think this one is definitely a lot different. There's just a lot of these really pretty rosy shades, and this one that I thought was going to be kind of similar is a lot more subtle in this palette, and it was darker in the other one, so... Overall, I just love this. I can't wait to play with these. I also just got a PR package from Juvia's Place. They sent over their brand new Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primers. So very excited. They come in three different shades and these are made in the United States. It says this creamy, luxurious eyeshadow primer creates the perfect smooth canvas to make any color pop on your eyes. The thick, full coverage formula doesn't crack or crease, making it ideal for long wear. And it just says to apply a thin layer to clean eyelids for a smooth glide, then add your choice of eyeshadow on top. So let's check out all of the colors. Here's color number one. And wow, these look really, really nice and opaque. 
So I think it's going to hide everything on your eyelids. If you have discoloration or veins, that's going to be great. I just want to see how it dries down. So we'll just leave it like that for right now. All right, so here's shade number two. And by the way, I do have a coupon code for Juvia's Place. I'm not sure if some of you guys knew that, but it's just Jen. So it's a really easy one to remember and it'll save you 10%. So there's color number two. All right, and here's color number three. All right, so I'm just gonna let these dry down for a minute and then I wanna try some eyeshadow on top. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a shimmer shade in the Paris Edit palette. Look at how reflective it looks. Oh my gosh. Just for comparison's sake, I'm going to put it on my arm without primer so we can see what it looks like without anything. So there it is without the primer. It still looks really beautiful, but look at that. I think it's definitely like it just looks smoother overall. All right, so now I'm going to put it over shade number two. And then I'm just going to put it on shade number three. And also, I love how these primers dry down completely because I think it's going to be easy to blend shadow on top of it. They don't feel sticky or tacky, but at the same time, look at how beautiful the shimmer shades go on top of it. So I can't wait to play with these. I will definitely let you guys know my thoughts in an update video. I also just got a package from Pixie Beauty and they sent over a backpack um, that says that it's full of glycolic body treats. So let's unzip this one and we'll see what's inside. Oh cool, it's their glycolic body wash, body peel, and body lotion. Alright, so let's check out what they sent. How to glow from top to toe. It says the glycolic body cleanser smooths your skin's texture and exfoliates and revitalizes. The glycolic body peel energizes skin while showering and gently exfoliates. And the glycolic body lotion improves skin's tone and texture and has long lasting moisture. This is actually the perfect time of year for this because I was just saying the other day, it was really hot out here and my son and my husband were wearing shorts and I was like, yeah, my legs are not quite shorts ready yet. And they were like, what are you talking about? So yeah, I just kind of suffered through wearing jeans. It's a little bit early here in Connecticut to be that warm. So it kind of took me by surprise, but definitely want to start trying to exfoliate the skin on my body and start getting it nice and smooth and get rid of all the little bumps and everything and the dry scaly skin so um, I'm not really going to test out the body wash or the body peel here because I'm not really near the sink but I can put on a little bit of the body lotion and see what that's like so so the key ingredients of these are glycolic acid to exfoliate and brighten aloe vera to soothe and hydrate ginseng to improve circulation and energize the skin and lactic acid which also smooths and softens so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my hand. I just want to see what the texture is like. So yeah, this feels like a medium weight body cream. It's not super thick, but it's also not a thin lotion. It's kind of somewhere right in the middle. It feels super emollient actually. And it has a really, really mild herbal scent. You hardly notice it but I like it. It actually is more of like a spa-like scent. I really like that a lot. And even though this isn't a thick cream, just that little bit that I put on is really extending all the way up my arm. And I think a little bit goes a really long way with this. My hand feels amazing, actually. I actually just put on hand cream right before the video, and this side looks a whole lot brighter, which is nice. 
So anyway, guys, I'd love to hear from you if you have tried Pixie's body products yet. I really have mainly tried their skincare products for the face, and I love their glycolic toner, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to love these as well. So super excited to test this out. I also got a package from Wishful. It's a very busy Thursday this week, um, and she sent over the Eye Lift and Snatch Instant Sculpting Mask. So she does have that mask that you put like around your chin to kind of sculpt and give your chin like that V shape. So let's see what these are supposed to do. This is kind of interesting. All right, so I don't want to read the whole thing, but it says here, after creating our jawline snatching chin lift sculpting sheet masks, Huda wanted to apply the same principle to the eye area that would leave you bright eyed, snatched AF, and ready to take on the day. So buy to tired eyes as Wishful launches fatigue fighting magical masks that will keep you looking tight and feeling bright. So they're made of the same sculpting fabric and cooling active infused hydrogel as the chin ones. And it says that they also have sweet almond oil and rose as well as peptides, plant stem cells, and peptides that stimulate the collagen and elastin production. And the real magical ingredient, it says, are stem cells, which are native to Japan, that generate eye-opening results literally as the remarkable natural extract creates an elevating lifting effect around the eyes after just 30 minutes. Okay, so that actually has me intrigued. I'm very curious to see how these work. So it says here that 84% agreed that their under eyes looked and felt lifted immediately after use. 84% agreed their dark circles appeared brighter, and 78% agreed their eyes looked less puffy immediately after use. So anyway, I am definitely going to check these out. These are $5. I'm guessing it's $5 for each one, and they're available online, or they're already available, and they're going to be in store on the 7th. So very cool. I will definitely have to keep you updated on these as well. Hey guys, it's Friday. I just got my Ipsy box in the mail and this is actually PR. Ipsy had reached out to me last month and asked if I wanted to start getting their Glam Bag Plus. So the Glam Bag, the Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month and you get five full-size products and I think you can pick some extras as well, up to eight I think. And out of the five base products, you can actually choose up to three of them. So you kind of have your choice, which is really, really nice. So um, let's check out what they sent over. Over. I didn't actually pick any of this they just sent it I guess based on the quiz that I took so they sent over this little bucket hat that says force of nature and I think that's probably the theme of yes it's the theme of this month so it says whether you love your naked face or feel naked without your red lipstick do whatever feels natural to you when confidence is the first step in your routine you can't be stopped so anyway let's go ahead and see what they sent over the first thing is from first aid beauty and it's the facial radiance pads i've actually used these before they're really really good if you want to exfoliate your skin i actually used to have a whole jar of them they're really awesome so definitely will use that i also got a shampoo bar i haven't tried one of these since way way back years ago I got one from Lush to try and it actually left my hair feeling really greasy and kind of limp so maybe I didn't use it right I've heard that there's kind of a technique to using these so this one says it has argan oil to control and soften and it's by a brand called Soapbox and what's next what's next this one is by a brand called item and it's called the light sauce balancing gel moisturizer for oily or combo skin Huh, that's interesting because in my quiz I took, I said that I had dry and aging skin. So I don't know, let me know you guys um, because this is my first Ipsy box in forever. I used to actually subscribe to the little um, sample bag but do they really go by your quiz results or not? Like if those of you who have Ipsy, do you often get things like this that are not for your skin type? Because I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one. Um, but here's a look at the packaging. And it says this lightweight gel moisturizer hydrates and balances the skin with glycerin, tiger grass extract, muru muru butter, and ceramides to replenish natural moisture. I mean, all of that stuff actually sounds very hydrating. So I don't know. Let's try it out and see what happens. It might be a good summertime moisturizer if for nothing else. And if not, then I can always just gift it to my sister or a friend. Oh yeah, this is a super light gel, but it feels very refreshing. In fact, I might just be able to put this like underneath my regular moisturizer just as kind of an extra layer because it soaks in pretty much immediately and disappears. 
So anyway, that's that one. They also sent Dr. Botanicals Watermelon Superfood 2-in-1 Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Um, this doesn't really have too much of a description on here. It just says to activate the jelly, wet your hands or cotton pad with water, put the jelly on a cotton pad or your fingertips, massage the eye area, and remove makeup, then rinse it off. So it's basically just a rinse off jelly cleanser. And then we have this one. It's a turmeric and vitamin C clay mask. So I don't normally use clay masks because um, they're a little bit drying on my skin usually, but I will definitely give this one a shot and see what happens. They also sent over the Lauren Conrad lip gloss. I actually do have this one already. I think even in this color, Dawn, yes I do. And it's a beautiful lip gloss, so I'm just gonna set this one aside and gift it to someone as well. Then we have the Thrive Cosmetics Lip Fuller Lip Liner. It says semi-permanent micro pigment technology. That's kind of interesting. It says built-in primer and semi-permanent micro pigment technology allow for an all-day fade-proof wear. Revitalizing lip quench technology treats, plumps, and smooths your lips. It kind of sounds like a miracle. <laughs> um, prime line and plump with long-lasting coverage and a smooth, hydrating finish. So let's see if this actually lives up to all of those claims. The color looks like it's gonna be a really pretty pink. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand for now, but I will definitely update you guys and see what happens with this. But I just wanna put it here and then see how easy it is to remove by the end of filming this. The color is gorgeous. I really, really like that. And it was super creamy, so I feel like I could probably even just fill in my lips with this and not even just use it as a liner, but like an actual lipstick. Ooh, I got something from Victoria Beckham. I have been wanting to try her line for so long. It's just really pricey. This is her Future Lash Smudge Free Lifting Mascara. I am excited about this. It says strengthen, lengthen, and lift, a clean vegan mascara that loves your lashes and stays in place all day. Well, that sounds good to me. Oh my gosh, this is probably the heaviest mascara I have ever felt. It's like a brick, oh my gosh, but beautiful packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's just take a quick look at the brush. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's super skinny. I love little skinny brushes like this because you can get right up into the roots of your lashes and I'm really clumsy when it comes to mascara applications. So I love little brushes and that is awesome. So definitely we'll be playing with this very soon. I also got something from Nomad. This is their Kiss of Sun highlighter and it says smooth, blendable and buildable powder pink highlighter with glistening pearls to create the sun-kissed look of the sexy Sydney ciders infused with macadamia oil to help the skin feel soft and moisturized. All right, so I haven't actually tried anything from Nomad Cosmetics yet. I keep looking at their palettes and like I want to try them. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, so here's the packaging. It actually looks so much like Becca's highlighter packaging. It's just a little bit smaller. And that's what the color looks like. It's supposed to be just kind of like a pearly pink, I think it said. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Ooh, that is beautiful. It's actually, I'd say, more peachy and almost like peachy gold. But it's very, very buttery and super smooth, yet ultra reflective, too. Wow, that is really nice. I would even just use that as an eyeshadow. And then the last product is Bellin Argent, and this is their Panchromatic Eyeshadow Palette in Nude Intuitive Vision. I haven't actually tried anything from this brand either. That's one of the things I think is cool about Ipsy is that you can try out new brands that you might not have been exposed to before. And this packaging is really beautiful. So pretty. Looks like it's an eight pan palette. And it's just a very, very neutral palette overall, but I am not complaining. This is what I wear on most days. So let's go ahead and swatch a couple of shades and we'll see what the formula is like. So, oh, this feels really soft. These are very velvety shadows. Let's put them over here. Those are so smooth. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. Let me see what the mattes are like. These feel really soft as well. Look at that pigment. These are very, very pigmented. Wow. 
All right, so I have a lot of stuff to play with here. They also sent me a bright yellow umbrella and the little bag, the little pouch that everything comes in. So anyway, guys, that was my Ipsy bag. I'd love to hear what you guys got this month, if you got any of these products and what you're thinking of them so far. And last but not least, I got a package from City Beauty. They just launched a new product called the Ultra Firming Dry Oil. So this is actually supposed to be for your neck and decollete. And I was excited when I heard they were coming out with this because their firming cream is like my holy grail. I have already used it three times. I'm on my third jar and I just see such good results with it, with all of their products actually. So um, this is supposed to promote a dramatically firmer looking neck and decollete. And I've noticed over time that my neck is definitely looking older than my face. I have those horizontal lines going across from like looking down at my phone. And I've actually been researching different neck treatments recently. So I was like, this is perfect timing when I heard that they were coming out with this. So it says that it reduces the appearance of wrinkled and crepey skin, helps create a lifted look, lightweight for fast absorption without any residue, and it deeply hydrates for a smooth, supple finish. So I can't wait to test this out. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see what the texture's like. All right, so here's a look at the bottle. Just comes in like a dropper style. And it is a lightweight oil. It has a nice scent to it. It's not anything too overpowering. It's just kind of like a light, clean and fresh scent. So there's a look at one hand versus the other. And anyway, guys, I'm gonna be putting this to the test. In fact, like I did with the Ultra Firming Cream and I showed you guys before and afters on Instagram, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna take a picture of my neck before and then I'll use this for 30 days and let you know my results next month when I've had a chance to try it out a bit. So if you're interested in that, let me know down in the comments below. And I think I'm gonna end the video here since it is Friday and I plan to upload this video on Saturday since Sunday is Easter and I know a lot of people probably won't be watching. So anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of the products that I showed this week. And I also wanna thank you so much for spending part of your day here with me. I always appreciate it so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here in the corner of your screen. And I'll see you all in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.